I got stuck in the elevator with Tiger. I think the most rewarding part of being a host are other conversations. When I look like that, I don't need a bio. My professional life is probably the pieces of the puzzle. Yeah. And uh, the artwork is my family. family. That yeah. is so sweet. Oh, I know Drip. drip. Like, uh, like Drip, like hot. No, it's also because there's so much cancel culture, right? People are being judged for so many things that they shouldn't be. Like, kuch bhi bol diya, wo baat ko bada bana hai. There's a line to it. That though you can't translate. Sheetal Chinoy and you are watching Pink Will Out. My guest today actually needs no introduction because from gracing the silver screen with her stellar performances to owning the podcaster world with her unfiltered conversation. I think she has done it all. So let's welcome the one and only Neha Dupia. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I want to just start off by uh, asking a very cliche question, Neha. Season 6 is going to come up. I am yes. so excited. Yes. It has to be one of my most favorite shows ever. Let me just put that out. Uh, the cliche question here is that what can the audience expect in season 6? Uh, season 6, of course, the biggest thing that we're sort of, you know, it's it's our time to give back to the audience is that we've gone video. Yeah. So, you know, that's a really big one for us. And uh, there's no doubt, you know, I mean, the fact that the show has kind of stepped foot into season 6 uh, and we're here talking about Oprah Tania. So, the first five years, we got so much of love yeah. and so much love for being on audio. Not to say that we're not on audio right now, but we're also on video. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, this really... I mean, I really wanted this gradual progression, but I feel like I'm far more confident now than yes. I ever was to have these conversations and then for people to like listen to them and watch them. Yeah, absolutely. And while you say this, uh, talk to me about the most challenging aspect of being a host for No Filter Neha. Apart from the fact that it's coming on video on Geo TV, Geo TV Plus and all of that, those things are great. The most challenging aspect of being a host on No Filter Nia is being a producer as well. So I am one of the co-producers. I have a production company called Big Girl Productions and then uh, I feel like being a producer is very challenging. Yeah. And I think the hardest expectation is when you're a producer and then you have to turn up and you have to be on and you have to look a certain way. I feel like it, it should be, you got to sign a deal with one of the devils, <laughs> yeah. you know, either you're like, okay, fine, I'm a mess, because that's what I need to be, because these are the battles I need to fight on set. Yeah. But then committing to both sides makes it very hard. Very hard, yeah. And six seasons down, and I want to ask you, what is the most rewarding part of being the host? I think the most rewarding part of being a host are other conversations. I mean, you should see our set, like, you know, right now you're on yeah. set. You're one of the few people who actually has come in on set to see, but it's, it's absolutely bonkers. Like, you know, we get a call saying um, the guest is 20 minutes away or 30 minutes away and everybody's just like, we go from being extremely quiet saying, okay, it's almost showtime yeah. with all the hustle bustle. So it kind of, uh, it, uh, uh, all of it is very exciting. And then when you, when you hear their stories and when, you know, you kind of get to know um, them even better yeah. than you think you do. It, 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 that's the stuff that makes it very rewarding. Yeah. I mean, I wait for those conversations. <laughs> I like a good conversation. Yeah. The intention of starting the show was also like, you know, being a candid chat with your famous friends. So there you go. I feel we continue with that rhythm. Yeah. You know, uh, when I got to know that I have to get into a conversation with you, my first thought was you're an actor, you're a producer, you're a host, you're also in a podcaster now, right? Is there anything else <laughs> that I've missed out on? <laughs> I mean, there's so much more to go out there yeah. and accomplish. And I also feel like, you know, I'm some, lurking somewhere in the middle and there's so much more I can do and I, I can and I should catapult. Nice. But I also kind of uh, uh, have a huge amount of my time gets consumed by my personal life. Yes. And then it's like, that's the center of my universe and then everything else is around it. So all the things that I want to do is that this kind of needs to be unshaken yes. and then everything else can can be fitted Fit, yeah. so yeah i mean um yeah this is my professional life is probably the pieces of the puzzle yeah. and uh, the artwork is my family, family. that yeah. is so sweet yeah. <laughs> so how familiar are you with some gen z lingos uh not at all not at all no. so shall we do a small test i'm just yeah. going to give you a okay. few words okay. and if you don't get it then you have to take a bite okay, <laughs> okay. so start off with a very easy one slate Slay, like slay, yeah, I know the meaning of slay. Uh, like um, cool slash sexy sort of. Like killing yeah, it. Killing yeah, it, kill slay, it. yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> nice, good save. Okay. okay, the next one we have is cap. Cap. Yeah. 
not not the cap cap but yeah. cap is so a like a C A P stand C A P yeah okay. not a full form but it means something uh, shall I give you a sentence and maybe you can like, like your cap would probably like be short for uh, like top of the order captain cap no. I, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> cap maybe in a sentence I would like say, captain cool no no all right someone shady. No. <laughs> uh, almost close, but it's related to someone, something that someone is saying. Uh, so not coming out clean. You're capping information. Lying. Yes. All right. So I'm okay. Just save so then, yourself. Yeah, save myself. <laughs> I will do anything not to eat spice. You have no idea. I hate spice. I have yeah. zero threshold for spice. Okay, I, I can eat see that you haven't touched. Really? The past five years, I've been like literally all the droppings of my children's food. Leftovers, all of that is me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, cap means uh, a lie. So no cap is no lie. <laughs> okay, maybe one of the next one we have is drip. Oh, I know drip. drip. Like, uh, like drip, like hot, hot, cool. What yeah. is it related to? Sweat, clothes, uh, outfit, outfit. Okay, yeah. okay, cool. <laughs> oh, bad. Yeah. The next one is very interesting. Salty. Like someone. Look at me. <laughs> Salty. Okay, I'll tell you a sentence. Oh my god, she's so salty. So you're taking a dig at someone who's salty. No. Uh, oh my god, she's so, she's so J. Jealous? Yes. Uh, so Gen Z lingo for jealous is salty. No way. Yes. <laughs> I'm so bad. And the last word from the Gen Z lingo test we have Finsta. I've read this word. Finsta. Related to social media. That's the only clue I'm going to give. I don't know, like on a. Um, uh, a, a star, it's star. Uh, fin, fin star. Break it, break it down. Fin star. Fin, like, fin star, like, <laughs> I don't know, Instagram? Instagram, yeah. What Instagram? Like, what Instagram account? F? <laughs> Not what you're thinking. <laughs> Something else. Fake? Fake! Yes! <laughs> yeah. like Dude, you said fake, you don't know and... Fake Instagram star yes. is a fin star. I object to this what? kind of language. <laughs> But this is what Gen Z's are using this right now. This is not now. why I went to school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to the next one. Okay, I'm going to give you Instagram I'm, bios, mm. your co-stars or your friends, and you have to tell me who is it. Very easy. Let's go. The first one we have: sportsman at heart, actor by art, humanitarian by virtue, businessman by default, and an athlete who's an actor as well. No, you no. worked with this person in the movie, and everybody loves the movie. Comedy, John. Akshay Kumar? No. Um, but another clue, I'm helping you out so much, but another clue is that with Akshay Kumar, there was another person in this movie. Sunil Shetty? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank okay. you for saving me from the nacho. Human being, son, brother, friend, and actor, all five work in progress. Human being, son, son, which is everyone, and then brother, uh, friend, actor, all five work in progress. Brother, so someone who has a sibling. Uh, Too many siblings, actually. Too many siblings. Um, well, one of the Kapoors. Okay. Yeah. So there, we've narrowed it down. Okay. But Ranbir is not on uh, Instagram. So then, I'm going to the other side of the Kapoors. Uh, what about Arjun? Yes. Mm. Save yourself again. Save yourself again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to the next one. Again, very easy. Believer of the philosophy, love yourself. Uh, give me a clue. Her name starts with B. Rumi? No. B? B, yeah. Um, I should know this. Is yeah. Rumi and who else's name? B. Bo okay, um, if, I, if I give you this clue, then you're going to get it. Shall I? <laughs> no, no, don't give me that. <laughs> okay. B? Yeah. Her second name also starts with a B. Vipasha? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and the last one, uh, actor, mother, maverick. Okay, this person is currently trending on Instagram. Her Insta feed is fab. Actor, mother, maverick. Yeah. Not from this generation. Just, just saying. Zina Tamar. Yes. Okay. <laughs> good save. Good save. All right. Yeah. So I didn't get to eat get it. it. Yeah. I need yes. to ask more tough questions. Okay. <laughs> Imagine you are the person who's deciding bios for a dating app. Mm. Okay, I'm going to give you some stars who have been your guests for your show. You just have to tell me what would their bio be on okay. a dating app. Okay. Yeah, okay, starting off with Karthik Aryan. 
Yeah, Karthik Anand bio. Okay, not used to being single. <laughs> okay, nice, love it. <laughs> the next one, Ananya Pandey. I'd say uh, deleting app now. Nice. I like this one. This is actually nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Moving on to the next one, Shahid Kapoor. Well, Shahid be, Shahid be on the uh, hypothetical situation. Don't fall for this. I'm not the real Shahid Kapoor. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Tiger Shroff. When I look like that, I don't need a bio. <laughs> Fab. Full points for this. A uh, full points mm, for this. Thanks. And Kriti Sanon. Kriti Sanon. Uh, don't bother if you're less than six feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> You are an actor, right? And now you are a host as well. So has this changed your perspective about interviews and you know in the industry, in the glamour industry? No, I just feel that when you're hosting and then when you call people because you're inviting people on your show, I feel, I'm very, very protective towards uh, the people who come on set because they all come because I have personal relationships with them. So my first and most important thing is that I will never do anything to jeopardize that. Second and most importantly, you know, I'm here to make a good show. I'm here to have a good conversation. Yes. Apart from protecting my guests, what I want to do is also make sure that enough and more people watch the episode, get to know them, get to know a lighter side. I feel like it says no filter, yeah. but the no filter version of like 2016 when we started or 2017 when we started versus um, the no filter version of 2024 is a lot more caged right. because people have become more protective. Yeah. I mean, sorry, but uh, people have become more cautious about the things they say. So, I mean, the idea and intention is always to give a great conversation, but it's never to throw anyone under the bus and never ever to put any other third party down. down yeah. So, it's not that. I wouldn't like it if that happens to me. What I would like is a fun conversation. We yeah. just finished a conversation with Karthik and I feel like my cheeks hurt. I'm laughing <laughs> yeah, so I mean, much. I was standing outside, I could hear him laugh so yeah. much. <laughs> yeah, he's very funny. Yeah. He's very funny. Yeah. yeah. You know, while you say this, also we get to see that the dynamics of celebrity interview has changed and evolved over the years, right? And you see that uh, celebs in particular, as of now, are not very keen. And as you mentioned, they're very cautious. So wh why do you think this is happening right now? No, it's also because there's so much cancel culture, right? People are being judged for so many things that they shouldn't be. Like, kuch bhi bol diya, wo baat ko bada banana hai. Right. Instead of focusing, and it's also like, you know, instead of focusing on what the, um, what the crux of the storytelling or the answer or the narrative is, we just pick that one line and we just go on and on yeah. and on about that. And it's not easy. Sometimes you're the biggest stars and people are like, you know, you're just sitting with that hawk eye waiting for, for them to, which I would also not say slip up. Yeah. The intention is never to slip up. The intention is always to say something. And you know, you could get trolled for the, the, the smallest or the largest thing. Like I could say anything on this interview and I could get trolled for it. So, you know, you could be on a TV show and suddenly like sit in a slouch and somebody like circle your face yeah. and say, oh, this one is not interested in board, but no, you're human, right? Yeah, so I feel it's, People are taking it too far. And now on the season six, can you tell me any fun BTS story that our audience will enjoy? So we finished uh, almost the entire season. We've had a blast, and uh, the BTS stuff. Yeah, there's 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 been some uh, crazy stuff. Uh, we're here, our studio, our set is on the fifth floor. I still remember we had a four-story. Like I still remember we had a five-story climb up to to get here. And uh, I got stuck in the elevator with Tiger. So, okay. Yeah, that's a good most, thing. For most people, it would be a good thing. But I, I was really worried because as a producer on the show, when you have 90 minutes to record and for 15 minutes you're stuck in the elevator, for most people, it would be content. In my head, I was just like, Kuch bhi ho, please, bati aa jai. Uh, yeah. Somebody turn this, this thing on. So, yeah, it was really funny. But apart from that as well, you know, we've we've had minor hiccups and sometimes, you know, someone's given an answer for very long and suddenly been like, oh, the sound was not on or something else. So, you know, these things these happen things, everywhere yeah, all the sure. time. But everyone's been nice enough to like be there, finish it and, and have a good time. Yeah, yeah. And also it's a very exciting time for me yeah. because, you know, not just am, am I the host and, you know, not am I kind of, it's gone beyond me lending my name. We're in our sixth year, we're yeah. going video for the first time. We're collaborating with GeoTV, GeoTV Plus. Mm -hmm. We have such a great list on board. So yeah, all of it, just like 
you know, I feel like it's all coming together. Yeah. On yeah. Like a big family. <laughs> yeah, but I'm also very tight fisted about it and I'm hoping like, you know, people have enjoyed watching yeah. the entire season. I'm sure they're going to love it. You know, uh, you just mentioned, right, like as a producer, you think different and as a host, you think different, right? So does it get a little tough to maintain a balance between these two? And have you ever used your producer card like <laughs> that? I've never actually used my producer card, okay. but I've I've used it to my advantage. So as a yeah. host, I would usually come like two hours before. Here I am six hours before waiting, seeing yeah. if everything is in place, all of that. And more importantly, I just feel that hosting the show is by far the most fun part yeah. because you're actually sitting and having that conversation. True but kind of sitting on the writing or understanding where the marketing is going, who the celebs are, what the look and feel is. I mean, just just showing up and, and being there 200% okay. is hard. And now for me, even harder because all, all my time, I want to be like, you know, either at work or with the kids. kids but when yeah. that kind of balance gets a little more lopsided, especially when a new show is coming out or something, you kind of also suffer from insane amounts of guilt and you want to run back but I know when I'm in the conversation I'm 100% there so I feel like the producer and the mother in me kind of are, are uh, we're, we're always battling time with each <laughs> yeah, other yeah. but the host is just it's just fun because you know you're, you're just there and having that conversation is great okay and last segment for today is called as hashtag no filter mm -hmm. okay. okay so it's about your show so original yeah so original <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> about your show i'm going to ask you some questions you have to either name the actor or you have to eat it okay okay but fun questions okay, okay. we'll start off with uh, the funniest guest ever it's all six seasons funniest guest ever karan johar uh, Harbhajan Singh and Karthik Arya. Nice. Fun. Okay. Fun. The next one. A guest who wanted to be part of the show but you said no to them. <laughs> she didn't even think twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, you're reading it. Okay. The next one. Who has been the best dressed on the show? The host, of course, but apart from you. <laughs> Everyone, you know, earlier it, it wasn't televised. Oh, yeah. So this year. So, so this se this, this year. Or all the guests this year. All really well dressed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Moving on. Who has been the most boring guest so far? Oh, <laughs> she's gonna finish all the nachos. <laughs> okay, uh, name two actors or two guests who have arrived late to the shoot, which is common. So you can take the names, I think, or if you wanna have the nachos. No one actually. Ever. Really? Oh, 15, that is 20 so minutes. Cool. Yeah, no one's been late. No one's been late. That is so cool. But 15, 20 minutes in Bombay traffic after 30 minutes, minutes is of yeah. course plus and totally minus is Okay, a guest who has asked you to edit or cut a controversial part from the podcast. You'll kill me, but really, controversial nothing. Nothing. But have they oh, asked you so in so general so to cut something? Oh, so, yeah, like, yeah, but it's not good, it's not Maybe a slip of tongue. One or line, like. one line here, like that. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think you did great. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they that's don't. Amazing. They don't ask for it. Yeah, so that's anything. so cool. Yeah? yeah. Okay, last one that I have for you is something really cool. You'll have to sing for this. Oh, I don't know how to sing. But you can try. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to give you a Hindi song. Oh, I'm very bad. Translate it into English uh -huh. and then sing it. Okay, I'm very bad. Yeah. Right. But let's try. Okay. Ye kali kali aankhe. It's black, black eyes. Ye gore gore gal. These white, white cheeks. <laughs> oh, sorry, these fair, fair cheeks. Fair, fair cheeks. These fair, fair cheeks. Ye tiki tiki nazre. These sharp, sharp looks. Ye hirni jesi chal. Hirin is dear. 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 Uh, you're walking like a deer. Yeah, fab. This one is great. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a, a, a hot cup of tea here. Somebody should make me drink it. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are. With someone who I can give tight hugs. <laughs> Fun. And last one is your own song. Which one? Hawa Hawaii. Like air, air. <laughs> <laughs> There's a line to it. That too you can't translate. <laughs> air, air. Bijli girane. To crash the thunder. Here I am. Very nice. To crash the thunder. Here I am. They call me Ah uh, Ah uh, Hava Hawaii. 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 Hava